Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. I right, salute. So Holy shit! Oh, so your Holy mother, your mother trains you to accuse shit. people of being on a drug after you met them one time and never saw them for ten more years. So you oh, been after on the, drugs. the BT cipher. You haven't been on drugs. That's what your mother raised you to do. <laughs> okay. That's what your mother fine. raised you. To what in the New York hood rat type shit did I just witness? So Nicki Minaj is on Queen Radio confronting Joe Budden for saying she's on drugs and about the motorsport thing with Cardi B. And she's yelling at the top of her lungs, refusing to let him talk. Bringing up, did your mom raise you like that? You know, the typical hood rat playbook that they all read out of. And the entire time, she just screams and yells and refuses to let him talk for minutes. Then mutes his mic and don't let him respond. But after Queen Radio was over, Joe Budden decided to film his podcast, the Joe Budden Podcast, in the same studio as Queen Radio. And Nicki Minaj was right there as the guest. She went on live and they got into another debate or argument about her beef with Cardi B and how the song Motorsport with them two on it and Cardi dissing her on it came about and whether she was fake with Meg Thee Stallion or trying to get a good image that she not a bitter bitch basically. But this time Nicki was more cool and more articulate which was smart on her part because if y'all don't remember a couple of days ago she made a hashtag black girl tragic and was talking about all the negative black women who be killing their kids killing their husbands and things like that all the horrible things that black women have done in the past and she named it black girl tragic because black women would say black girl magic but for her to say that and make that hashtag and then a days later go on the radio and feel the loud, ratchet, black woman stereotype would be a hypocritical move and would tarnish her image. So maybe this IG Live could help her image showing that she can talk like a normal woman. But of course, I want to hear y'all opinions. Let me know what y'all think about it. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, comment. And I'm out. But no, so I, nobody heard it. it. Like, I've been heard nobody that. heard No. Yeah, you heard you it when I heard y'all before. They, they didn't need to hear none of that. Why not? They did business. Well, but when you dissing me, child, the world gets to hear it, child. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> Mike, 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 we rolling. Oh, one, we, two, rolling we, rolling we rolling, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling. Hold up, man. Everyone relax. Everyone, <laughs> Everyone is Everyone fine. Is <laughs> oh. I hear you don't even know about that. You been trying to everybody, right? you don't everybody know relax, relax you right now. Hey, let me set the vibe. Me, wait, hold up, because I'm I ain't even doing burner boy properly. Let's start. Let's start this up. What is feedback on this? And uh, do you hear that? Feedback what? Look. Do you hear that? Oh, it's clipping a little bit. Yeah, it's clipping a little bit. Keep your volume down a little bit. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, come on. Is that right? What? Is that going to be loud? Don't need it loud. Is that going to be? Is that going to be? It's loud. Yeah, it's hidden. It's peaking. That's no, why Joe needs it to be loud. Again. All right, so right. Oh, you want me to turn the speakers? Listen, if you tell me it's going to be loud, we play it in fine. All right, come on. Let's, let's run. Let me start from now then. I didn't want to disrespect Burner Boy that way. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. <laughs> Let me fix everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> Joe gonna always be the sacrificial lamb. Oh, sick. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to turn this up. Me, All right. Listen, everybody chill. I know y'all don't even know the vibes right now. Y'all just relax. I got this. Don't sound loud enough for me, but... Come on. What's up, man? This is Burner Boy. Wait, 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 what? I know who this is. Nick. Yes. This is Burner Boy. Oh, dope. I like him. I like him. Come on, don't worry about it. Yeah, come on. You already know it's up to I'm letting this rock.
Listen, we had to have a real good time. We got a great conversation. The vibes is right. The mood is right. Oh, I wish I could turn this up getting my vibe. Look, I relate to this. You want to spend more time? So you don't even know what to do when this came on and she tried to back it up on you. You know you gonna find the wall. Yeah, you look wild. Look, look at you. That's not even the right two step though. Hold up, hold up. He about to really school you right now. Listen, this podcast about to start. Come on, man. I agree. <laughs> Whatever he's saying. You don't even know what he's saying. I don't give a fuck what he's saying. You don't know what he's saying. I don't, I don't know if y'all joking or not or if y'all have actually you heard this record. Already, you ain't heard it. But, uh, Jeremiah's on this record. Jeremiah's on everywhere. He smokes this. I don't want to cut it off until he goes. So we and then we got a real good conversation. What are you doing over here? How long is this show going to be? Like five hours. <laughs> and how many songs you finna play, child? See? <laughs> I didn't say no, I was just asking a question was I was just asking and, a and question. I think I've held up my end of the bargain buddy technically you ain't hold up your end of the bargain because you had a temper tantrum and 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 your other uh show mates they didn't only big Big Ego Joe did, child, but that's <laughs> that's for another day, child. <laughs> the way niggas keep saying child, that's just somebody grandpa. I am somebody <laughs> grandpa. And that's exactly what I be saying. When I hear myself saying child back over and over, I be like, yo, why do I sound like somebody's but, fucking grandmother? And I'm not saying that no more. Thank you, Bob. He always looking out for me. So finally, we can admit okay. on this show that Maul is a certified boy. You think you do this month? Well, oh, wow. well, welcome to episode 271 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, and grateful host, Joe Budden, here with some niggas I ain't really too sure about. And so let me, so let me introduce them to y'all, y'all to my left. What's your name? Fuck State your name, Gangsta. No, 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 no. Rory is here. Intro. What's your name? Yeah, your name is Mal. 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 Right? That's what she said. Yeah. Jamal. Yeah. Mal. That's Jamal. Mal. What you call him? I'm Rory. Mal. That's part. You're now recording my exclusive Spotify content. You said I could do what okay. I want on my show. Okay. Bye, y'all. Well, no, no, no. Stay. Stay. Please. Right. No, stay. Don't leave. Right. Don't leave, baby. Okay. Uh, and we have a room full of people. And we have a special, 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 special. A nice, girl. sweet lady that's a nice girl and that always be nice and always be honest. My name is Onika Tanya Maraj, and I just want the respect I am earned. I have earned from people like Joe Button. And that's part of why I don't like having guests here. And I was telling Rory this in the elevator uh, this morning. When you have guests... Sometimes you have to, like, give them the respect that they deserve. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what happens. Sometimes? God forbid, right? God forbid you give people the respect. Joe, what in the world is wrong with you? No, we just did that. We're not doing that again. <laughs> but, no, but Come seriously, on, Joe. Joe, please. Joe, Joe, Joe seriously, Joe, seriously. But she won't let me talk even on my shit. Okay. <laughs> I, Do you think something is wrong with me? Can I talk? Can I answer that? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> tell me what you... Oh, shit, Barb's in the background. Tell me what... <laughs> tell, tell me what the bar, this Barb's behind me. That, them niggas, they're going to need a ride somewhere one day. Uh, oh, whatever. See, you listen, being tell me, so tell sarcastic. Me, tell, me, um, tell me what you think think is wrong with me. Let's, let's hash I think, it out before I we think get think you, good I, stuff. All right, let me, let me be honest. I think that you are... Jealous of you. A big baby... I don't know if you are an only child or a middle child. I don't know what it is, but I think you are a big baby. I think you never like to be wrong, and I think whenever somebody calls you out on your shit, you have a temper tantrum. We've seen you have so many temper tantrums, Joe, and it's not, and it's the truth. And people put up with your shit because you are a great rapper. So I feel like rappers take more of your shit because... I love this breakdown. Because <laughs> this, this because awesome. they they respect you as a rapper. 
That's why you think they. Yeah, I it. yeah, I personally do think a lot of t- a lot of times people take some of your people take your shit because we know you're a dope rapper, but it but doesn't I'm, give you the right to treat rappers like peons. Is that, do you think I do that? When you're on your show talking about us, yes. And I think that's, I think, I think that you never like to be wrong. I think you need to always surround yourself by weak women. But I could be wrong. Like, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I just think it men like. like you're sending shots at women that I frequent. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> am, I off, no. am I off in my assessment? I'm, I, I think. This it, is the fourth time she's made that, that reference. So I have to ask. That's true. Where you're, where do you get that from? Uh, first of all, let me just, I don't... I, I talk to these niggas most of the time. Okay, but I'm just saying, I don't think that you are used to having powerful female voices around. Okay, uh, that right. excludes your mom or your grandma. Of I'm talking course. about women that... Peers. Your peers, exactly. Okay. I don't think you're used to having strong women who are going to battle you down or argue you down about Damn, things. you get a whole lot of people on that little insta Go ahead now, queen. Yeah, okay, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, and my thing is, even when, you're, even when we catch you in a lie or something like, oh, you did say it, you still won't just say, damn, you know what? I did say it. Maybe at that moment, you know whatever, what? whatever. But you won't give me that. And that, and I know that you know women, and we need to get that. Miss, we need to have that. Okay. Miss Minaj. My co-hosts seem to say the same thing about me from time to time. <laughs> Which is why I wasn't shocked that you guys got along the way you did. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, listen, so I'm open. I'm open open to being wrong. Let's, let's have this dialogue here that I, that I would have liked to have had. Yeah. Let's clarify some things. And and let me preface all of this with, I don't care. I'm shocked that you care. That's crazy. Listen, this is where... You was, don't care this, about what? And then I'll tell you what, what I care about. I don't care. I don't have the energy to try to figure out what happened on Motorsport anymore. Like that was a but that's that was unfair a big, because if somebody finish, speaks on you, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. That was a big deal, and it was a big deal to me happened. because I was the one being lied on, and that's what you need to understand. Of course, it's not going to be a big deal to you because you, in passing, just said something about someone, and it, it just was one of those things that you said in your show, and it went and and next next on to the next. If someone, if I'm the subject of that lie. Of course it matters to me. Now, did I care about it? Every when me and you have been texting or whatever, is, am, is, am I walking around mad at Joe Button? No. Me out for, uh, to, uh, you've cursed me out quite a few times. About I've only this. cursed you out once. I say more than that, but I've only cursed you out once. Okay. I've I'll only say, cursed you out once, and today well, twice, twice would be today, right? Twice, right. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I I can understand you thinking like, what's the big deal? But when I play back audio of you saying something that you just said you didn't say. And you still won't even give me that and be like, oh, damn, you're right. I did say that. Then that that's a little crazy. That would be correct, Miss Minaj. You would be absolutely correct. When you stopped the audio on Queen Radio, what I was attempting to say was, no, I 100% believe that you knew who was going to be on this song. Oh, you do? Okay. And I thought I later furthered that point on the show that you referenced by saying, I don't think that you knew that verse was going to sound like that. Can you, can you reply to me? Because because you, I understand that I'm the guinea. I, I in am, order for me to, in order when I when I am on a song, meaning when you hear it, I've heard it. So so let the world know. Let y'all understand how shit works. There isn't a song in the world that Onika Tanya Mirage is on that I, I have to I have to clear every record, which means I have to hear every record I'm on. Did okay, you, Joe. Did, did you change anything about about that verse after you heard the whatever the last pro- final product was from her? Because we said that too that it sounded like some things might have been over. So let me before I answer that question because I don't have a problem with answering that question. I want to go on record having both of us acknowledging the fact that you for a long time you and your sidekick said that y'all don't believe Nikki knew about the verse was on the song and now you're saying you just think maybe I didn't hear the final product you said that then too but yes uh, okay I'll, I'll so so let's make it so so I just want to clarify I knew the you verse was on the song on no we not I'm, a, I'm about to hang up on him I knew the verse was on the song 
I hate that I'm even giving this stupid fucking song this much attention. That's what I'm asking it was you. really about you. That's what and I'm that's the whole thing. You, it was, no, no, no. It was really like, about you because this is what everybody on live needs to understand. It wasn't about the song. It was that you did it with that song, and then you did it with this song, uh, Hot Girl Summer, which is, even though you didn't say it like in a mean way, even with Hot Girl Summer, you said, uh, for Nikki to go on live with Shorty, I believe that the song is already coming. I think Nikki's a little bit more calculated than that. And I think that that's, that, that's kind of like bullshit. I don't think that the song isn't done or it's not already being in the works when Nikki go, went on live. And I said, hello, Joe, no, it's the actual truth. Nothing was in the works. Mm -hmm. I wasn't asked to be on the song that's before that live. That None of, so I just want to let you know, this is the second time I did a record where a female was on the record where you put something out in the world... That is basically saying Nikki's lying. So it's not about the song. It's not about the person. It's just about, I think, for whatever reason. You think I throw... All right, I got it. You, th I got it. I fucking figured it out by what you said just now and what I was able to hear through the Apple crack doors after I was escorted off the premises. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It sounds like you think I give you unfair criticism because of maybe a prior relationship or like it just sounds like you think I treat you unfairly yes I Wom think that women hate you think I hate women no and I don't know because like, I don't I don't watch enough to know I just hear and see what you say about me so when I make a statement and then you uh negate what I've said then it's basically painting me out to be a liar. I don't like that. I take offense to that. Okay. I'd rather you go in there and say Nikki's a bitch. I would Nikki's never. Nikki's a, uh, always you know she's habitually That's late. She's this or that. Well, like I don't nice. care. It's certain things that about my. It's certain things about myself. If somebody says that about me, I know who I am. I'm not mad at who I am. But the lying thing, it does get. I, I am going to take it personal. If two times I did a song with a female. And you put out a narrative that wasn't true. And then when I said it's not true, you still don't believe me. So you have to understand that there are people that are going to believe you. Now they're thinking, oh, this psycho bitch just begin up on her platform lying. And I just want you to understand that that's not okay. And when people say, oh, you shouldn't care or you or, or you in, in your feelings, bitch, fuck you too if you think that I'm in my feelings or I'm whatever the fuck you think. Because... I am me, I'm a human being, and I and I have to defend myself because there's nobody else out there defending Onika Tanya Mirage. So I have to defend myself. Your husband will defend you, don't do that. My husband's going to defend me, but my husband is not a public that's figure. Not that's All not I was thing. saying, no, that's not true. All I was saying, I'm about to turn it off because I know this is his, your show and we want to make it exclusive. But I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I just I don't wanted you. Hate me. I just I I don't think my, my fans don't hate you either, and that's the point. No, I just want to show that like my thing is, I know you guys are going to speculate. That's what that's what media does. You you guys speculate, you have fun. It's it is what it is. But when I come out and, and actually say, hey guys, this is exactly what exactly what happened, and then you basically say, nope, I know Nikki, I know she went. Mm -hmm. It makes me look like a fucking psycho. Is all I'm.